Monica's outfit from Final Fantasy X is awesome. It's not only aesthetically very unique, but also exemplifies part of Yuna's character as a young summoner and a Besaid native. Yuna represents the new generation of Spira, those who question their faith more than the older characters in the game. She's a high-profile religious leader following in the footsteps of her father, Grand Summoner Braska. The generational difference between the summoners can be seen through the costume design. Let's compare Yuna's outfit with her father's. Braska's garb is intricate, conservative, and includes many ornamental aspects? Sort of like a fancy quilt or pillow. If we look at Yuna's outfit, it's brightly colored, light and flowy, and much more revealing. Yuna spent most of her childhood living in Bisaid, a southern island village which shares similarities with Okinawa, Japan, known for its beaches, but also its fashion. Even her outfit includes some signature Okinawan flair. So what we have here is effectively a deconstructed yukata. The top is a sort of wrap held together by an obi in a very Okinawan style fabric. She's also wearing what appears to be a modern style bralette underneath the wrap, which you can kind of see poking out on the sides and it also shows on the back. She's got a long pleated maxi skirt with a flower design, again, very Okinawan. And it's also got a fun slit up the side, which you can sort of see in the concept art. It's not only flirty, but it's also practical for movement and ventilation. And the same can be said for the dip-dyed kimono style sleeves, which are also very flowy. And then we have like black combat boots. Not exactly a fan of the footwear choice, but you gotta give her credit for wearing something practical. It wouldn't really make sense for her to wear something with a heel or sandals while on a pilgrimage. But really my favorite thing about the outfit is how it moves in the cutscenes. The sending scene and the underwater makeout session highlight this the best. The biggest complaints I hear about this outfit is how out of place the boots and the bralette are. And I'll give them that, the black does stand out and showing undergarments can be seen as a fashion faux pas, but I think that's a deliberate part of the design. After all, most of the game's narrative centers on Yuna's shaken faith as she questions her upbringing, society, and the very reality she lives in. By the end of the game, she's literally leading a rebellion, so it makes sense that part of her outfit doesn't adhere to traditional fashion norms. <laughs> 